You like the music? Wait, 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 wait. Did wait. you like the music? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love Boys in the Hood. In fact, I, t- I tell you, I t- to the honest God truth, when, boy, when Easy brought Boys in the Hood, the cassette in my house, they laughed at his ass. Woke up quick at about noon, just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. They laughed at him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Lonzo, man, listen, man. I'm going to go back a little bit, back into the story. Um, I'm going to get back on this other side with you and Dre. Because um, y'all, you, you know, he was in there. I seen him and I seen the picture. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You was on there too, but yeah. he, he was really posing on that thing. You I ain't know never, what I'm saying? I never been ashamed of my shit. I, yeah. I do my so, shit with pride, baby. Yeah, so yeah. that was the disco era. You got to understand, this is a different time. I know it. We you know what? It wasn't quite the disco. We had just come, we had come out of the coming off of it. We, we, right. You, we were coming out of disco and we was coming into electro funk. Electro funk. Okay. Because yeah. disco, when I first started trying to get records played or get record deals for us, oh, uh, disco going to die. That's why I keep saying, how can we be at the 50th anniversary of hip hop? That make that. Would you telling me that hip hop is older than disco? It ain't KP. No. But I'm a roll with I'm a roll with with the, with the with the masses, okay. But disco, I'm I'm discoing in this in the in the in high school, damn there, okay. You, Go ahead. You basically at this point, you don't want the rap music is coming. Right. It comes in. Hey, I'm, I'm loving I'm, it. I'm hip hop, and I'm talking about that first phase. I'm loving I'm it. I'm talking about the cool hurt, all of the the first phase. You you see it, but they, the movie say you didn't like it too much. You didn't want them to play it in your club. Keep these fat asses shaking. Don't play none of that street ass rap shit. All right. I want these motherfuckers to think about pussy, not pistols. See. That's yeah. what the movie said. Let, let me tell you what the movie. Let me tell you something about movies. <laughs> <laughs> tell you about something about movies. It's something that's called creative license. Mm. Okay, they can take one thing and put it on something else to make it more interesting. As long as they don't make put me in a dress because I ain't never did no shit like that. They can, or do some shit that's way out of my character. I did not like something about them, but that that it wasn't the music. Well, it what was, was it? It was the name. Niggas with attitudes. Niggas with attitudes. I'm born in the 50s, man. I'm 65 years old, man. I'm born in the support of 1957, dude. When I heard the word nigga, it was not in mixed company. My daddy called, when my daddy called, if my daddy called somebody a nigga, you had to really mess up. Okay, but still, you now you hear that word, but these boys, they got a lot of music. You, did you like the music? Wait, 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 wait. Did wait. you like the music? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love Boys in the Hood. In fact, I, t- I tell you, I t- to the honest God truth, when, boy, when Easy brought Boys in the Hood, the cassette in my house, they laughed at his ass. Woke up quick at about noon, just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. They yeah. laughed at him. They laughed they at him? They laughed at him. Who laughed at him? Everybody laughed Dre, at him. Dre, Yellow, everybody Red, laughed who else? At him. Everybody that was in my house laughed Cube at him. Cube was there? I don't, Cube, yeah, Cube was there. They all laughed. They, they like, oh, shit, Easy tried to rap. Oh, my God. That's that, that, that was the Who attitude. Who wrote Boys in the Hood? Q did. Mm-hmm. But understand this. Understand this. Understand this. At that time, one of the hottest records in the country was Picking Boogers by Biz Market. Right at the sun, a sweet like sugar, but it's rather on the boat tip and it's called Picking Boogers. Now when I'm playing my life, be closer to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Picking Boogers, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's hard, man. Okay? So yeah. I, like, when he came in the house, everybody laughing. Like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. And I said, you know what? Don't laugh, man, because stranger shit has happened. I'm an optimist. I'm an optimistic motherfucker. That's yeah. that's that's been my claim to fame. Yeah. That's why when I when, when you go to a when I go to a hip hop event, everybody know me because at one point in time, everybody that came to my house and my club. But if they laugh and they made it, don't mean nothing. But they laughing at it because they, they don't know if it's they, gonna go. Because easy, easy, easy voice was not a typical rapper's it was voice, not man. A typical rapper's voice. It was not a typical rapper's voice. And Dre then chopped it up. Took him forever to do this shit. Easy was embarrassed to do this shit because that's why he threw a cube and yellow out the studio. Locked the studio off because he didn't want to put glasses on the whole nine yards. That shit was real. That was the real part. He That was all real. So, Boys in the Hood. What's wrong with Boys in the Hood? It's not, it's not a gangster hard. record. go hard, though. It's not a gangster record, okay? So, when people, people have to understand, look at the early pictures from N.W.A. They were not gangster imaged. They were wearing... Tams and caps and jeans and shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.